I want to clear up a very important question that I've been getting from not only like my friends, but also like people that used to watch me online when I played basketball. And that question is, Riz, did you quit basketball? And I want to talk about if I quit. I want to talk. So I want to talk about if I quit basketball or not. But at the same time, I want to answer. Or I want to reflect on a little bit of a conversation that I had with a very good friend of mine the other day. And to answer your question in a short context, um, no, I did not quit basketball. Do I still play basketball? No. I'm not going to say that I quit basketball when in reality, I know that one day I'll probably come back to the game and play for fun. Um, I tend to do these types of things where like with basketball specifically, like I'll play and I'll like rinse out my entire body for like eight months and then I'll just quit and then I'll just go and play in other endeavors, right? Like just go do other things and just, you know, try to grow elsewhere and my relationship with basketball now is is basically like a mutual breakup if that makes any sense or it's kind of like i've graduated from the game of basketball meaning like i've extracted all the valuable tools that i needed to develop as a player and even like as a person outside of the game and i've learned that you know like I've learned that the tools that I've gained and the things that I've learned within basketball, I can apply them elsewhere in my life. Um, some of the things are like communication, um, discipline, right? Like getting up, going to practice, doing things when you don't want to do them. Like I've dealt with that shit my entire life playing the game. Like I don't want to go play ball, but you know, sometimes we have to, because let's say we have a tournament coming up or we have this coming up, that coming up, you know, so you have to prepare yourself. Um, you know, other things that like, you know, the game has taught me was like attention to detail, right? Paying attention to, you know, the flow of the game, what cycle, because the game is very cyclical. So it's what cycle of the game are we in, right? Because the game is played off runs. If you're a player in basketball, you know that, okay, a team is going to have a run and then the team's run or the momentum in the team is going to slow down. Maybe a team will score 10 straight points and then it's going to slow down. And the next team, right, the opposing team, they're going to pick up their momentum and they're going to go on a run. Maybe they're going to score seven points. And then after seven points, they're going to dial it back, right? It's just the nature of the game. It's very cyclical, right? So I've learned a lot about that stuff and I've become aware of the fact that those things apply in the day-to-day life. So I've kind of stepped away from the game knowing that, okay, I've extracted all the tools, like I said before, and I'm kind of just applying them elsewhere in my relationships in you know, my work life and other things that I'm pursuing, even YouTube, right? Like YouTube is very, very, very challenging. And although I've taken a break from it, um, I still find it very challenging, right? Like you can tell yourself you're burnt out, but when you come back, you know what you're getting yourself into. It's, it's, there's a lot of discipline involved, right? Especially if you set out to do a lot of things and you know, those things I've acquired in the game of basketball. And, you know, people people ask me, like, you know, did you quit this then and third? And it's like, no, I didn't quit. But, you know, I just, I don't need to play. And I'm very comfortable with it. I'm very comfortable with walking away and not having to touch a basketball for four months. Like, I'm very comfortable with it. Because I've, I, I know the game beyond what the regular mind sees. Or maybe somebody that hasn't really matured within themselves and within the game yet within whatever game because not just basketball but sports fighting anything like all these things they are to teach you and prepare you for life in general right so like yeah like i like i'm comfortable with it i'm chilling like i'm not i don't care like i don't care when people say oh you shouldn't have quit you had an opportunity to do this that and the third and it's like hold on buddy watch your own pockets don't watch mine don't watch what i got going on in my life just worry about yourself i thank you for your suggestions but i'm gonna kindly reject them because i know where i'm headed in life i know my path i know my goals and that's all that matters and to me right now i believe and i feel that i need to step away from the game of basketball and i am very comfortable with it and i'm very happy with the decision that i've made now the other thing that i want to talk about because this isn't a long thing to cover up like it's literally that simple it's 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 like there's, I don't need to tell you guys a whole entire life story about me growing up with basketball, this, that, and the third. No, like I've already learned what I need to learn. And that's it. To segue out of this, right? Um, I want to talk about a conversation quickly that I had the other day. And then I'm going to let you go if you're watching this. I'm going to let you go after this. So 
my buddy was like, you know, you were doing ball stuff on YouTube. Because every time I see him, he's like, yo, like, are you still doing content? Are you still doing content? It's like, bro, like, you're my best friend. Like, you know what the fuck I'm doing. You don't have to ask me this question 20 times over and over and over. You know what the fuck I'm doing. And we talked and he's like, you're not really established online. And like, you're kind of just like throwing a bunch of different content out there. And he's like, there's nothing wrong with that. But eventually, like, he kind of, I guess he kind of suggested that, like, he's like, why? Like, I guess he was kind of suggesting, like, why did you step away from the game when you knew that, you know, you've built a lot of, like, relationships within like the social media basketball entertainment you know so like he's basically hinting like yo bro you could have just stuck with basketball stuck it out and continue moving forward and yeah i know like that's something that obviously like i've reflected on and i've looked at but i told him i said listen bro whatever i post online whatever i post under grizz which is me and my brand whatever i post under my brand reflects who i am in real life and that's all that i want it to be I don't want to portray a character that I am not. I'm not trying to go on camera and be like, look at me, this, that, and the third. Like, I got all this shit going on. Like, I'm so cool. That no, like, I'm not trying to sell anybody really anything that isn't valuable. And that's it. I'm just trying to post whatever is reflecting my real life. Because social media, as we know it, everybody can agree on this. It's very, very exaggerated and very, it's not very fake because there's a lot of real things online, but. Um, it's very it's very tampered with and it's easy to edit things and it's easy to make yourself look amazing right and you know i just don't want to be that guy that is doing that 100 percent of the time i don't want to play a character i don't want to have a character online that doesn't reflect who i am in real life and that's it so if you go on my channel you'll realize you'll see if you go on my videos you'll see okay like i played basketball i was posting all these basketball vlogs this that and third vlogging is still something that like i'm very interested in doing um but I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can incorporate like the mind and stuff like that, which is a piece of content or like a genre that I've like been so intrigued of for such a long time. And now I'm starting to let that reflect online on social, on social media, on specifically YouTube, because I'm not even on Instagram. I'm not even on TikTok. I'm strictly on YouTube. So if you go look at my channel, you'll see like, okay, like I have basketball content. And then now it started to get into like, like, uh, I started to get into like little podcasting or things about the mind you're probably wondering like what the fuck is this guy on man all i'm doing is reflecting what i'm dealing with in my real life that's it like i'm learning about the mind um it's very very interesting it's very intriguing i love the mechanics behind it and like i'm just ref like i'm letting it reflect online like i don't know what you guys want me to do you guys want me to portray a character that i'm not like no because i don't want to you know fucking kill myself like i'm not trying to play somebody i'm not right and Right now, I'm not that basketball player that I was before. I am Grizz, the mind mechanic. I am somebody that is trying to develop and understand more and more about my own mind, but it, overall in general, the operations of a mind, and I'm just trying to learn from it and grow. And that's, that's me, and I'm not sorry about it. I don't give a fuck, that's who I am. Whether you wanna call me like crazy or you wanna tell me I'm going through some psychotic break, it's like, cool, like I don't give a fuck. Um, you can believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. I don't do drugs, so there's nothing that could really trigger my psychotic break because I don't do any of that shit. The only thing I consume is coffee and a little bit of tobacco. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you gain some value out of this. Kind of, maybe. Maybe, you know, if you're an athlete, you can really look at, you know, your relationship with whatever sport you play and see if you've learned anything. Like, man, there's nothing wrong with writing down on a piece of paper like okay basketball what have i learned okay i've learned how to talk to teammates i've learned how to approach different archetypes because there are different archetypes in the game as well as in real life i've learned how to approach different archetypes of humans right like these are all things you can look at and try to extract some value that you've gained from playing your sport right and that's pretty much yeah that's pretty much it i hope you find yourself a marvelous and spectacular and tremendous and beautiful and sublime day all right? Sublime. Take care. Goodbye.